<clears throat> Today is day 85 of the year 2021, and the date is March 26, 2021. I'm reading from the New Living Translation of the Chronological One-Year Reading Bible. Today's scripture is from the book of Joshua. Joshua, chapter 12, starting at verse 7. Heading, Kings Defeated West of the Jordan. The following is a list of the kings that Joshua and the Israelite armies defeated on the west side of the Jordan. From Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon to Mount Halak, which leads up to the Seir. Joshua gave this land to the tribes of Israel as their possession, including the hill country, the western foothills, the Jordan Valley, the mountain slopes, the Judean wilderness, and the Negev. The people who lived in this region were the Hittites, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. These are the kings Israel defeated. The king of Jericho, the king of Ai, near Bethel, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, the king of Eglon, the king of Gezer, the king of Debir, the king of Gadar, the king of Horma, the king of Arad, the king of Libna, the king of Adolam, the king of Makeda, the king of Bethel, the king of Tapwaha, the king of Hefer, the king of Aphek, the king of Lasharon, the king of Madan, the king of Hazor, the king of Shimron, Miran, the king of Akshaf, the king of Tanuk, the king of Megiddo, the king of Kadesh, the king of Jananam in Carmel, the king of Dor in the town of Nafhatdor, the king of Goyim, the king of Gilgal, or king of Goyim in Gilgal, the king of Terza. In all, 31 kings were defeated. Joshua, chapter 13, starting at verse 1, heading, The Land Yet to be Conquered. When Joshua was an old man, the Lord said to him, You are growing old, and much land remains to be conquered. This is the territory that remains, all the regions of the Philistines and the Geshurites, and the larger territory of the Canaanites, extending from the stream of Shear on the border of Egypt, northward, to the boundary of Ekron. It includes the territory of the five Philistine rulers in Gaza, Ashdod, Ashkelon, Gath, and Ekron, the land of the Avites. In the south also remains to be conquered. In the north, the following area has not yet been conquered. All the lands of the Canaanites, including Mira, which belongs to the Sidonians, stretching northward to Aphek, on the border of the Amorites, the land of the Gabalites, and all the Lebanon mountain area to the east, where Baalgad, from Baalgad below Mount Hermon to Levo Hemeth, and all the hill country from Lebanon to Mizrafath Maim, including all the land of the, the Sidonians. I myself will drive these people out of the land ahead of the Israelites, so be sure to give this land to, uh, to Israel as a special possession, just as I have commanded you. Include all this territory as Israel's possession when you divide the land among the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh. Heading, The Land Divided, East of the Jordan Half the tribe of Manasseh and the tribes of Reuben and Gad had already received their grants of land on the east side of the Jordan. For Moses, the servant of the Lord, had previously assigned this land to them. Their territory extended from Eroer on the edge of the Arnon Gorge, including the town in the middle of the gorge, to the plain beyond Medba, as far as Jibin. It also included all the towns of, of King Sion of the Amorites, who had reigned in Heshbon, and extended as far as the borders of Ammon. It included Gilead, the territory of the kingdoms of Geshur and Maka, all of Mount Hermon, all of Bashan, as far as Selka, and all the territory of King Og, 
of Bashan, who had reigned in Ashtoreth and Edri. King Og was the last of the Rephates, for Moses had attacked them and driven them out. But the Israelites failed to drive out the people of Geshur and Makkah, so they continue to live among the Israelites to this day. Heading, an allotment for the tribe of Levi. Moses did not assign any allotment of land to the tribe of Levi. Instead, as the Lord had promised them, their allotment came from the offerings burned on the altar to the Lord, the God of Israel. Heading, the land given to the tribe of Reuben. Moses had assigned the following area to the clans of the tribe of Reuben. Their territory extended from Erewer on the edge of the Arnon Gorge, including the town in the middle of the gorge, to the plain beyond Medba. It included Heshbon and the other towns on the plain. Beth Baal Mion, Ahaz, Kittimoth, Mepheth, Kiriathim, Sibma, Zerath Shira on the hill above the valley, Beth Pier on the slopes of Pisgah, and Beth Shemoath. The land of Reuben also included all the towns of the plain and the entire kingdom of Sion. Sion was the Amorite king who had reigned in Heshbon and was killed by Moses along with the leaders of Midian, Evi, Recham, Zur, Her, Reba, princes living in the region who were uh, all allied with Sion. The Israelites had also killed Balaam, son of Beer, who used magic to tell the future. The Jordan River marked the western boundary for the tribe of Reuben. The towns and their surrounding villages in this area were given as a homeland to the clans of the tribe of Reuben. Heading, the land given to the tribe of Gad. Moses had assigned the following areas to the clans of the tribe of Gad. Their territory included Jazer, all the towns of Gilead, and half the land of Ammon, as far as the town of Erawur, just west of Reba. It extended from Heshbon to Ramoth Mizpeh and Batunim, and from Mahanim to the territory of Lodabar. In the valley of Beth Huram, Beth Nimra, Sukkos, Zaphon, and the rest of the kingdom of King Sion of Heshbon. The western boundary ran along the Jordan River, extended as far north as the tip of the Sea of Galilee, and then turned eastward. The towns and their surrounding villages in this area were given as a homeland to the clans of the tribe of Gad. The land given to the half tribe of Manasseh. Moses had assigned the following area to the clans of the half-tribe of Manasseh. Their territory extended from Mahanaim, including all of Bashan, all the former kingdom of King Og, and the sixty towns of Jair in Bashan. It also included half the Gilead, half of Gilead and King Og's royal cities of Ashtaroth and Edri. All this was given to the clans of the descendants of Machir, who was Manasseh's son. These are the allotments Moses had made while he was on the plains of Moab across the Jordan River, east of Jericho. But Moses gave no allotment of land to the tribe of Levi, for the Lord, the God of Israel, had promised that he himself would be their allotment. Joshua chapter 14, starting at verse 1, heading, The Land Divided West of the Jordan. The remaining tribes of Israel received land in Canaan, as allotted by Eleazar the priest, Joshua, son of Nun, and the tribal leaders. These nine and a half tribes received their grants of land by means of sacred lots, in accordance with the Lord's command through Moses. Moses had already given a grant of land to the two and a half tribes on the east side of the Jordan River, but he had not given the Levites he had given the Levites no such allotment. The descendants of Joseph had become two separate tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim, and the Levites were given no land at all, 
only towns to live in with surrounding pasture lands for their livestock and all their possessions. So the land was distributed in strict accordance with the Lord's commands to Moses. Heading. Caleb requests his land. A delegation from the tribe of Judah led by Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the Kenazit, came to Joshua at Gilgal. Caleb said to Joshua, Remember what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, about you and me when we were at Kadesh Barnea? I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to explore the land of Canaan. I returned and gave an honest report, but my brothers who went with me frightened the people from entering the promised land. For my part, I wholeheartedly followed the Lord my God. So that day Moses solemnly promised me, the land of Canaan on which you were just walking will be your grant of land and that of your descendants forever, because you wholeheartedly follow the Lord my God. Now, as you can see, the Lord has kept me alive and well, as he promised, for all these 45 years since Moses made this promise, even while Israel wandered in the wilderness. Today, I am 85 years old. I am as strong now as I was when Moses sent me on that journey, and I can still travel and fight as well as I could then. So give me the hill country that the Lord promised me. You will remember that as scouts, we found the descendants of Anak living there in great walled towns. But if the Lord is with me, I will drive them out of the land, just as the Lord said. So Joshua blessed Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and gave Hebron to him as his portion of land. Hebron still belongs to the descendants of Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the Kenazite, because he wholeheartedly followed the Lord, the God of Israel. Previously, Hebron had been called Kiriath Arba, and it, it had been named after Arba, a great hero of the descendants of Anak, and the land had rest from war. Joshua chapter 15, starting at verse 1. Heading, the land given to the tribe of Judah. The allotment of the clans of the tribe of Judah reached southward to the border of Edom as far south as the wilderness of Zin. The southern boundary began at the south bay of the Dead Sea, ran south of Scorpion Pass into the wilderness of Zin, and then went south to Kadesh Barnea, to Hezron. Then it went up to Adar, where it turned toward Karka. From there it passed to Asman, until it finally reached the brook of Egypt which is followed to the Mediterranean Sea. This was their southern boundary. The eastern boundary extended along the Dead Sea to the mouth of the Jordan River. The northern boundary began at the bay, where the Jordan River empties into the Dead Sea, went up from there to Beth Hogla, then proceeded north of Beth Araba to the stone of Bohan. Bohan was Reuben's son. From that point, it went through the valley of Acre to Dibir, turning north towards Gilgal, which is across from the slopes of Adamim, on the south side of the valley. From there, the boundary extended to the springs at Enshemesh and on to Enrogel. The boundary then passed through the valley of ben Himen, along the southern slopes of the Jebusites where the city of Jerusalem is located. Then it went west to the top of the mountain above the valley of Hinnom and on top to the northern end of the valley of Rephaim. From there, the boundary extended from the top of the mountain to the spring at the waters of Nephtoa and from there to the towns of Mount Ephraim. Then it turned toward Baala, that is, Kiriath Jerim, the boundary circled west to Baala, west of Baala to Mount Seir, passing along the town of Kesselan on the northern slope of Mount Jerem, and went down to Beth Shemesh on, and on to Timnah. The boundary then proceeded to the slope of the hill north of Ekron, where it turned toward Shekharan and Mount Baala. 
it passed Jabneel and ended at the Mediterranean Sea. The western boundary was along the shoreline of the Mediterranean Sea. These are the boundaries for the clans of the tribe of Judah. Heading, the land given to Caleb. The Lord commanded Joshua to assign some of Judah's territory to Caleb, son of Jephunneh. So Caleb was given the town of Kiriath Arbor, that is Hebron, which had been named after Anak's ancestor. Caleb drove out the three groups of Anakites, the descendants of Sheshai, Ahiman, and Talmai, the sons of Anak. From there he went to fight against the people living in the town of Debir, formerly called Kiriath Sefer. Caleb said, I will give my daughter as Aksa in marriage to the one who attacks and captures Kiriath Sefer. Othniel, the son of Caleb's brother Kenaz, was the one who conquered it. So Aksa became Othniel's wife. When Aksa married Othniel, she urged him to ask her father for a field. As she got down off her donkey, Caleb asked her, What's the matter? She said, Give me another gift. You've already given me land in the Negev. Now please give me springs of water too. So Caleb gave up, gave her the upper and lower springs. That is the reading for day 85. God bless each and every one of you. And may God be with you until we meet again.